<laughs> oh my god. This thing is awesome. What we do here is go back, 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 back. So mad at Joby Gorilla Pods. You failed me. I can't believe nobody has complained about the fact that Joby Gorilla Pod wears out. So it's useless to me right now. It just falls over because of the one leg. At least once a week, this camera. Okay, watch. My camera falls over. People in the comments give me a really hard time for it, like I'm doing it on purpose, which is an outrageous thing to suggest. Don't, you don't even want to hear the review. The, the review is coming. Trust me. Where are my sunflowers? There they are. There they are. Welcome, God. Well, oh, God, it's still. Stupid Jimmy. Are we somewhat straight? I think we're straight. The problem is, is I have to do all these before the sun hits the windows in the office because I do not have an LED light of any kind. LED lights are expensive and I've been spending money on all this other sh Welcome to my uncomprehensible review of the DJI Phantom 4 drone. Obviously, it doesn't come with this cool Sticker decal. Uh, I found this on Etsy. This is the best place to look. Uh, I've searched all over Google, all over eBay for a cool skin for the drone because I wanted to customize it a little bit, make it my own. I couldn't find anything. Six days I was scouring, scouring. Finally, Etsy has this amazing sticker uh, that you can put on. You also get the one for the controller. Am I in focus? The uncomprehensible review of the Phantom 4. Now, there are plenty of reviews out there for the Phantom 4. Tech reviews, flight reviews. We're gonna dumb it down. These are for, this is the idiot's guide to the Phantom 4. Don't take it seriously. I have no idea about specs, anything like that. I still don't even know what the buttons do on this camera. I have no idea. Let's start off first by saying this is the greatest piece of equipment that I have purchased in my life. Besides my Panasonic GH4, this thing, awesome. So much fun to fly. I have never, ever, never, ever, ever, ever had a remote control anything. This is essentially idiot proof. It flies itself. Everything is completely interactive from the app, the DJI Go app. Live HD video is streamed in real time, direct from the camera right to your screen. The Go app allows you to adjust the camera settings and use this real-time view to line up your shot. You calibrate the compass so that the drone knows where it is, where to come back to land, and then basically you just press a button, it takes off. You press another button, it flies. You don't even need to use the controllers. You can literally just point on the screen where you want it to go and the drone goes there. With the Phantom 4 in the air, a tap on the screen in tap fly mode sends it flying steadily in that direction, following a perfectly straight line. As it flies, the Phantom 4's obstacle sensing systems constantly monitors the surrounding area and navigates around anything in its path. The best part about this is these new cameras that they have on. They have two underneath and two in the front. If it comes to an obstacle it cannot pass, it will come to a safe stop. So again, there's three modes in it. There's bitch mode, which is the start, like the beginner mode. So it can only go so high and it can only go so far. Highly suggest starting off in bitch mode. Second thing is there are two buttons to land this thing. There is the return to home. And then there's another button that's land right now. Do not get those two buttons confused. I learned the hard way. I was actually shooting on the three-story rooftop. I pressed what I thought was return to home 
but I just pressed land. Here is the rooftop, here is the edge. Here was the drone, this is how it landed. Halfway on, it started to fall over, and I actually was able to regain control. Because I was inverted. <laughs> Before it landed in the parking lot, and I was able to land it safely, but that was the second day I flew the drone. I had a horrible instance where I was shooting in Marina Del Rey, I started off in the parking lot. Flew it above all these sailboats and then launched it away. I lost signal to the remote, couldn't find the drone, didn't know where it was, and it was trying to come home. The problem with that is that my height was only set to about 40 feet in the air, which the sailboats are much taller than that. So I knew from reading online that this has a hard time with power lines and tree branches. The obstacle avoidance has a hard time seeing. So I was afraid that this thing was gonna try to get back to me through through the sailboats. Plus the sun was setting, it was dark, so I had to keep telling it not to return home even though I didn't know where the drone was. Another important thing is keep the drone in your sight at all times. If you can, make sure you have a spotter with you that is keeping an eye on where that drone is. Because again, once you lose signal, it's a scary, scary moment. It kind of sucks doing this review now because the Phantom 4 Pro has come out and the, and the Mavic has come out. Now the Mavic, that's the one I want. This is the DJI Mavic Pro, and this is the DJI Mavic Pro Unfolded. It's got 24 high-performance computing cores, dual satellite connectivity, an all-new transmission system with a 4.3-mile range. Way smaller, way easier to carry around, but again, it's tiny. It will fit in a bag this small. The only problem with this drone are these stupid legs. If these legs could pop off, it would be much easier to get this into a backpack. But because of this, it's a huge pain in the ass to try to get it into a regular backpack, plus the controller, plus all the batteries, plus the iPad, everything you need, it's just cumbersome. That is the only issue I have is just the size. Now the Mavic is taking care of it. I am gonna wait for the Mavic 2 to come out. Word on the street is April is when the Mavic 2 is coming out. Hopefully flight time will be better, battery life will be better, speed will be better. I think the best idea is a camera in the front and a camera in the back. There are plenty of times I'm trying to do shots where I'm trying to get both so I have to fly the course twice. And also adding two micro SD card slots so that you could actually shoot the footage going forward and the, and the camera pointing backwards with the other card. Doesn't that make sense? It seems to make sense. So now let's go into uh, the accessories that I bought for this. These batteries are about $125 each. I know you do have to update these batteries as well too, uh, but I was able to get three more batteries for about 80 bucks each off of Craigslist. Didn't have any problems with them, but again, starting off with one battery, you're getting about 15 minutes of practice time, and that is just not enough to learn the drone well enough. I decided to get three more just to give me roughly 45 minutes of flight time, plenty of time for any instance you're in to get the shots that you need. It is a little pricey, you're throwing down an extra three to four hundred dollars, but it's worth it. You really need these extra ones. Secondly, if I take the propellers off of this, this thing doesn't come with covers for these motors. Now look, look at this completely exposed, okay? These are also magnetized. Any sort of shards of metal, if you were in a garage, workbench, that's gonna go right into this thing. Lugging around your backpack, you could get sand, you could get gravel, could go into this motor and you're screwed. I went online and found these caps. These caps were $1.25 each, they fit perfectly over the motor. Absolute perfect fit. You get a set of four. Now, when I go transport this thing around, I am not worried about shit getting into the motor in any way. Same issue with the batteries. They come just like this. Look, exposed, exposed, exposed. It's just exposure, exposure. Got these fireproof 
lipo bag. They're not that much. I think these were about $7 each. Again, these are lipo batteries. They are prone to fires. If there was a fire, it would just keep it within the case. You also are going to need these bags if you're planning on traveling in a plane. Also, what I have heard is that you want these batteries to be at 1% if you're going to fly with them. Polar Pros Cinema Series ND filters, okay? Let me tell you, night and day. Night and day. As far as quality, comes with this nice little case. And you look, these filters are awesome. You see that? You see what it's doing there? Absolutely amazing. The quality of video is completely different. <laughs> probably I think around 120 bucks. This is made by Ant. This is a gimbal protector. Now this goes right at the bottom of the drone to protect it if it's going down or an uneven surface with rocks. You're going to protect your gimbal from getting jacked up. Now I learned a valuable, valuable lesson. So what I didn't want is my camera to be obscured when I was pointing straight down. So I installed this right here. Okay, now look where that problem is. The two camera sensors are right there. I learned my lesson the hard way. I was up at Runyon Canyon on top of a mountain. I had this installed. I launched the drone up, no problem at all, but the drone did not want to descend because it kept on seeing this. Here I was running out of battery and it was dropping at a rate of maybe three feet every minute and I'm cranking it down going land 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 a long time for it to land so I need to get it down like now I need to get it down now Sun was setting be careful when installing this that you do not cover up the bottom camera sensors the second and the, the next investment I got was this awesome drone vest. Now what's cool is that I actually feel like a SWAT team guy with this thing on. It's pretty cool, um, but it's minimal. It has the remote controller clip on it. And if you can see from the back, the drone basically sits in the back, strapped in. There's four slots for the propellers, and that's about it. So now that's still a problem because you still have your controller, the iPad, the batteries, all that. So if you want to, because this is great, this is great to have. If you're trying to keep things minimal and not carry a huge backpack, this is a great piece of equipment. You can find them on eBay. They're very, very easy to find. I think around 15, 20 bucks is what I paid for this. So luckily I also had this old school 90s fanny pack, okay? This is great. Normally this is for water containers. This fits batteries just fine. Plenty of ample room to be able to take your controller and your iPad and be able to fit it in here and that just goes around your waist. That way you're not carrying around all the drone backpacks for the Phantom 4 that have been made look like you're carrying this huge box on your back. So, I researched online. I'm not gonna buy the bag because I am gonna invest in the Mavic 2, um, but the best bag for this that I could find Polar Pro uh, rucksack for Phantoms 2, 3 and 4 they claim. So we'll just put that in and sit in there. There it is, sitting down in there. But I there's the fit on. But as I say, the most important thing is that um, this is uh, acceptable to go uh, in a cabin on an aeroplane. So again, this review again is for people that want to buy a drone. This drone is perfect. It's under $1,000 now. 
it shoots amazing, amazing video. The price point is at a point where if you crashed it, it's not devastating. It's gonna suck, but it's not devastating. But as far as convenience, the Mavic, it really is a game changer, man. You know who I feel bad for is GoPro because uh, they launched their, their little mini drone out, I think four weeks before the Mavic, and the Mavic came out and basically just put their foot up GoPro's ass and was like, I don't think so. We're gonna end this review with some of the, with a little montage of some of the footage I've been able to get with this amazing, amazing drone. Again, I love it. I highly, highly recommend it. And thank you for watching the uncomprehensive review of the Phantom 4 drone. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you on the next episode.